firstly, I'm not a tzitzi for the first time in five years and it's really, really weird. Well, I'm kind of there. If you're at tzitzi, go to the little brown book stand and you'll see what I mean. I've just realised when I hold this mug in my right hand, it looks like it's just a mug with a picture of me on it, but it's not. It's me, Lee, Michelle and Sean. It was a present for when Michelle left, bless her. My new favourite mug. So Pete made a video the other day. By the way, Pete's now making videos regularly every Thursday. I shall link to his channel below, but recently he made a video called Use Your Own Brain. If you haven't watched it, you can watch it right here. Well, I mean, I'm not gonna play the whole thing, click on the link and you can go watch it. But the main gist of the video is Pete saying that you should form your own opinions about movies and books and art and things that are subjective. Because they are subjective and just because one person, even if they're a professional critic, says it's a bad movie or a bad book or a bad whatever, it is still just opinion. But the reason I wanted to make this video and add to this conversation is because I've been thinking of something similar recently, mainly after seeing the BFG. I read a few reviews and a few people I know told me that the BFG wasn't a good movie because the animation wasn't as good as Disney usually does, the special effects were a bit of a letdown. They told me lots of technical things about the film that made it a bad movie. But much like Pete said in his last video, I went with a very open mind. You know, I'm a big Disney fan, I'm a big Roald Dahl fan. I was ready to like this movie. And I did. I absolutely loved it. I laughed, I cried, I left that cinema feeling overjoyed. Which made me come to the conclusion, which is probably a very obvious thing, but it's the first time I'd ever properly thought about it in such blatant terms. How technically good something is doesn't have a direct correlation with how much you enjoy it. My favourite example of this are the Twilight movies. <laughs> I know the Twilight movies are universally accepted as bad movies, and I'm aware of the reasons why. The special effects are bad, the acting is questionable, the story is flawed, but I still enjoy the Twilight movies. <laughs> I first read the Twilight books because a boy I had a crush on recommended them to me, so as a very lonely and needy 14, 15 year old, I fell in love with this idea of Edward Cullen, so now whenever I see those books or watch the movies, I'm reminded of being my 14 year old self again and how I felt towards those books and those movies and Edward Cullen. In fact, I think the best example is a movie called The Room. It is known for being the best worst movie. So much so that the Prince Charles Cinema in London screens this movie every month and people flock to it. It sells out every month because they enjoy how bad it is. My point is, if you like a book or a movie or a song or something subjective where whether it's good or bad is based on opinion and other people around you are saying it's terrible for X, Y or Z reasons, you don't have to shy away from saying that you actually enjoy it. Your enjoyment of a movie doesn't take away their X, Y and Z reasons for disliking it, so their reasons shouldn't take away from your enjoyment. What I look for in art, books, movies, songs, the like, is just to feel something. If its purpose was to make me feel sad and I feel sad, it's done its job and I enjoyed it. If its purpose was to make me feel happy and overjoyed and uplifted and it did that, then I enjoyed it. If I leave the cinema or turn the last page or turn the radio off and I'm thinking, eh, it's not done its job at making me feel something and therefore I won't like it. But someone else is a different person made up of different thoughts and opinions and the way they think might mean when they listen to that song or see that movie or read that book, they feel something. And my dislike or indifference towards something should not influence their enjoyment of it. So much like Pete said, if someone is saying you shouldn't go and see something or experience something just because they thought it was bad, don't listen to them. And if you do go and see it and you really love it and you get a lot of enjoyment out of it, don't be afraid to talk about it. Because your opinions are just as valid as theirs. And if someone's putting you down or making you feel stupid because you liked something that they didn't, their arrogance is astounding. Make sure you go and check out Pete's channel. And I never say this, but if you like this video, like it, share it, tweet it, spread it around a little bit. Because you know, that's how channels and communities grow. And I would love more people to know about this little corner of the internet that we've got going on here because so many people say it. People I know who are in the YouTube community are like, dude, the hopeful's great. So much so that we're up for the community award at Summer in the City. So everyone who is at Summer in the City, I hope you have an amazing time. Go and find Pete, Gary and Adam, my three boys who are there roaming around being troublesome as always. And I shall see you soon.
I am in Cardiff and I am on my way to my Cardiff book signing today and I'm just headed to uh, Starbucks to meet the team 